Okay, meanwhile, a lot of controversy today breaking out over Tiger Woods. What did Tiger Woods do that was so awful, that was so terrible? So apparently, he was asked about after his final round of the Northern Trust about his relationship with President Trump. And here's what he said. He said, well, I've known Donald for a number of years. He said, we've played golf together. We've had dinner together. I've known him pre-presidency and obviously during his presidency. And then he was asked about being threatened by Trump and his policy. And Wood said, well, he's the president of the United States. You have to respect the office. No matter who's in the office, you may like, dislike personality or the politics, but we must all respect the office. And then asked if he had any more to say about the state and discourse of race relations, Wood said, no, I just finished 72 holes. I'm hungry. Okay, this, of course, led to a massive controversy. Why isn't Tiger Woods such a powerful voice speaking up on issues of race relations? Tiger Woods is the reason people are still watching sports. Okay, people had stopped watching golf because Tiger Woods became irrelevant. Tiger Woods is relevant again, and people are watching. The last thing Tiger Woods should be doing is talking about politics in sports. You want to destroy the last common area we have left in common? Destroy the sporting world by polarizing it around issues of politics. Suggest that every celebrity has the necessity to talk about every political issue under the sun. There's kind of a running joke on Twitter these days about Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift has basically stayed out of politics as well. And so anytime there's some sort of issue, people will start joking, Taylor Swift's silence on this issue is deafening. Right? Because the, the joke is that the media expects all of these public figures who have nothing to do, they're not famous for politics, to start sounding off about politics because celebrity dominates our politics. It's really bad. President Trump tweeted out about this. It is uh, 17. He tweeted out, the fake news media worked hard to get Tiger Woods to say something he didn't want to say. Tiger wouldn't play the game. He's very smart. More importantly, he's playing great golf again. Okay, so President Trump is right about this. It's not particularly smart of him to draw attention to it because now Tiger Woods is going to be badgered beyond belief by the media even more than he was before. And now it looks as though Tiger is tacitly supporting the president, which will force him to come out and say something against the president. You can see how this is exactly going to play out, right? You can see how this is going to work. Trump says something. Tiger's now forced into a corner to say he doesn't like a lot of Trump's policies. Trump turns on Tiger. It turns into a Trump versus Tiger fight, which maybe is what Trump wants out of all of this. Maybe it's not what he wants. Maybe he doesn't care and he just tweets stuff out. But the bottom line is, did Tiger do the right thing? Yes, Tiger did the right thing. On our Sunday special this week, we had on Clay Travis. Clay Travis is a sports commentator, and he has a new book coming out called Republicans by Sneakers 2, which is a line from Michael Jordan, because during the 1990s, Michael Jordan didn't get political, and a lot of the people in the media wanted him to get political. And he said, listen, Republicans buy sneakers also. Why would I alienate half of the population? There's no reason for me to do that. Tiger Woods made the right move here. It is none of Tiger Woods' purview to talk politics. He's not an expert on the issue. But we have this weird tendency in American life now to think that everybody is an expert on everything. And the more prominent you are in any field, the more you are an expert on something. So you'll see people who have become very rich in the hedge fund area. And suddenly we think they're experts on politics. I mean, this is why Trump is president, right? Trump is not an expert on politics. Trump actually doesn't know all that much about politics. He has some gut level instincts, many of which are good, some of which are not good. But people think he's an expert because he's very rich. We all, we all now abide by the line from Fiddler on the Roof. There's, a, there's a, a line in If I Were a Rich Man where Tevia is singing, Tevia the, the peddler is singing, and, he, uh, and he's talking about what it's like to be rich. And he says, the, the most important men in town will come to call on me. They'll come and they'll ask me questions, and they'll ask questions that would cross a rabbi's eyes. And it doesn't matter if I answer right or wrong. When you're rich, they think you really know. And that's exactly right. I mean, this is the way that our politics works now. Tiger Woods is very good at golf, so we think he should say something about politics because he must know. He must know about the intricacies of race relations because Tiger Woods hits a golf ball for a living. Now, LeBron James must know everything there is to know about politics and have important things to say on politics because he's very famous and because he plays basketball. And this is not saying that he should shut up and dribble. He can say whatever he wants. It's our fault that we take poli that we take celebrities seriously. It's not their fault. If celebrities want to talk, that's their issue. But if you want to alienate half the population, if you want to drive people up a wall, if you want ESPN to continue declining in the ratings, please keep asking Tiger Woods what he thinks of President Trump. Let's do that. Let's do a lot of that. You want to destroy what's left of our common culture, all you have to do is keep pushing this idea that our celebrities should be spokespeople for the policies that you particularly like. It's ugly stuff, and it makes for a worse country, which is why ESPN is declining in the ratings. It's why people are watching less and less of sports, and it's why the media's focus on the politicization of every angle of sports is actually making stars secondary. I'm a baseball fan. You know how many baseball fans want to see more of Mike Trout on TV? The answer is virtually every baseball fan. We can't even see Mike Trout on TV anymore because we're busy battling out, kneeling for the national anthem, an issue that has really very little bearing 
on anybody's life. And the continuation of this polarization is only going to make our politics worse. I think things are likely to get worse before they get better in American life. And that's not a good thing. That's, that's, a, that's a very dangerous thing. 